meet the teams of Memphis Elite. J3, Blue Crew, and Memphis Elite Dance. All three teams are preparing for one of the biggest competitions of their athletic career. I have just been so stressed about this competition every single year because it's it's the biggest it's the biggest you can go to and I've gone to a lot of nationals. I think we're going against like 30 something teams so it's yeah. a huge competition for us. J3 is taking their talent to the stage at the Summit Cheer competition in hopes of gaining a national title. But to add another banner to the wall, they'll have to take out some fierce competition. We are going against 14 of the top teams in the USA. We were the first junior level three team to win a paid bid for the summit. Which means they pay flight, hotel room, and registration. Blue Crew and Dance also received fully paid bids to the 2013 Cheer and Dance World Competition, where they will compete against top ranked teams from across the globe. Nationals is a big deal, but when you think about worlds, like the first time I walked in there, I got chills up and down. The skill, our, our skill set, we're in, on level five, which is the only divisions that go to worlds, so it's everything. But to earn the coveted spot of number one in the world, these teams have to give everything they've got and leave it all on the floor. We're coming to perform, put on a show, and just be perfect. Be perfect, exactly. So how do you become perfect? What does it take to be the best of the best? And how do you prepare for the biggest competition of your life? It's been very hard. We've worked for several hours, a few days a week. We've done it full out over and over. It's been very difficult. Look at your friend, look at your friend. It's so hard because it's like towards the end of the routine and you're just so tired and you're trying to get through it. You're like, oh my gosh, I gotta flip over my head again. With so much practice, what keeps these teams going? They're not superhuman. When people say dance is their passion, as cliche as it sounds, it really is a passion that you have to have. There's no way you can make it through a routine like this and not love it. Okay, Michelle, but love doesn't keep you from passing out. I've been dancing since I was seven. It's just like part of my daily routine. It just, it's just a natural. It's like waking up and eating. It's just like another thing of my day. Laura, you gotta get tired sometime. Maybe Whitney can give us a hint. I love dance and it's just, it's fun to me doing all these tricks. It's just what I do and I love it. I asked everyone what keeps them motivated. And just when I thought I was gonna get the answer I'd been searching for, Oh, we actually have to go. We're about to go full out. It seems no one wanted to let me in on the secret to endless energy, but they did share a few of their strategies to winning the upcoming competition. We're so close together and bonding, and so it's really like we're dancing as one and not as separate people. I'm pretty sure the use of magic to turn 22 people into one is considered cheating, but I'm impressed. Got anything else? Definitely. Our team's sick this year. We're so sick. That's one way to knock out the competition. I'm kidding. While hearing the same song hundreds of times is all part of practice, the athletes aren't the only ones spending countless hours in the gym. I've been practicing four days a week. Let's see. Probably about a thousand. Okay, so one parent might have counted. The parents have been so supportive. Bringing in snacks and stuff after practice, you know, words of wisdom that they give us and just all the wonderful things that they say to us. Does it seem like we're leaving some very important person out? Oh yeah, the heroes behind the stage. You know, the ones you always hear yelling about formations and technique. Yes, I'm talking about the coaches. J3 and Blue Crew couldn't say enough good things about Coach Bode Beal. We have an awesome coach, and Frankie's very supportive, and I think they're working real hard. He's good. He doesn't care. Good. He's, fun. He's, fun. He's a really good coach. Yeah. Yes. He's, really He's good. good. He, our coach is um, definitely someone who's changed me. He made me definitely. who I am now. Definitely. He's probably the most inspirational person in my life. He's, he's awesome. I look up to. He's definitely like a second dad to me. And when it comes to dance coach Carol Lloyd, well, I'll let the girls speak for themselves. Our coach is amazing. She has won so many national titles. She knows what she's doing. She pushes us really hard, but in the end, it's all worth it. When I walked into the building, I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even know dance was, you know, just that big of a deal. Then when I got on the team, I was like, wow, they worked so hard to get these banners. And I'm just so excited and happy to be a part of the team and help them win those banners. When all is said and done, the team isn't just the ladies and gentlemen out on the floor. 
It's the lifelong fans in front of the stage and the devoted friends and leaders who hold their breath till the crowd erupts. It all comes down to those final moments. There's this long, awful walk to the stage where you're freaking yourself out. We have worked so hard all year for that one moment. It has taken a lot of work and so much dedication and it, it's at that moment when it really counts. So just leave it all on the floor. Oh, they're going to knock it out. They're going to do the best they can. My teammates are so dedicated to this routine. They're going to do their very best. But before the music starts and the crowd goes silent, there are a few things to keep in mind. Be perfect and work harder than everybody else. Be perfect or die trying. Be perfect or die trying. And just go out there and hit what you can. Do your best and no matter what, you're still number one. Just go out there and have fun and show everybody, make it look easy. Because we are so prepared, I think that it'll be even more special than it has been in the past or than it ever will be in the future. I love I'm you. so proud of y'all. Love y'all.